Some more uh, special cases for acids. This is part of our nomenclature series. So um, again, an acid is something when placed in water yields the positive hydrogen ion that makes the water more acidic. It lowers the pH. And so what are some of the special cases on the naming convention? Well, we're all familiar with phosphoric acid, right? We have the phosphate ion, so this is called phosphoric acid. But what if we have a, an, a, yeah, an ion which has one hydrogen removed? So what do we call it? Well, we call this dihydrogen phosphate ion. So this is called dihydrogen. We go back to the prefix methodology right there that we have up there. So we call this dihydrogen phosphate. And here we have a single hydrogen. So we could call that mono, but they just decided not to add the mono there. So we just, they simply say hydrogen phosphate ion. And then here we have an ion that doesn't have any hydrogen at all. So they just drop the name hydrogen and simply call this the phosphate ion. Here we have another familiar acid. We call it chloric acid because this came from the, chlor the chlorate ion. So what do we call it when we add another oxygen? Remember the rule was that we add the per in front of it. So this is perchloric acid. And here when we remove an oxygen from it, from the normal HClO3, then we change the ick to an us. So this becomes chlorous acid. And here we have um, one oxygen removed again, of course the name is written a little bit different, this is the more common way of writing HOCl, and so what do we call that? Well, we put the hypo in front of it, so this is called hypochlorous acid. So this is again, kind of what we saw in the previous video, how we change the name when we add an oxygen, subtract an oxygen, subtract two oxygen. So we go from chloric, we go perchloric, when we remove an oxygen, we go from ic, we call it us, and from when we remove a second oxygen, we instead of writing a chlorus, we also put in hypo in front of it, a hypochlorous acid. So the names of the corresponding ions change just the same. So this would be the perchlorate ion. And here, the, the eight becomes the ite. The rules for ions is that when we have chlorous acid, the corresponding ion would be chloride ion. And then here, the hypochlorous acid becomes the hypochlorite ion. When we remove the hydrogen, hypo chloride ion. So those are the corresponding ion names for this corresponding acid names depending upon how many oxygens it has and then here notice that we start with an acid once we start removing hydrogens from it it no longer was called the acid was called dihydrogen phosphate, hydrogen phosphate and phosphate ion. So that's another set of rules for you to hang on to but Remember, if you go and study those basic rules that we've seen so far, you will have a pretty good understanding of most of the naming conventions of at least the most common um, uh, ions and the most common um, molecules that you're going to encounter in any class in chemistry. So we have a few more if you want to hang on and see the next few videos. We have a couple more videos that show you how to name some of the compounds and some of the molecules.